Hi guys, welcome back. Um, this video is going to be a, a kind of short, but uh, a little bit different too. Uh, I would actually like to dedicate this video to my sweet little mom. And uh, I actually got a Christmas haul from her. Now, uh, she likes to go out and uh, frequent uh, antique shops and uh, flea markets and uh, peddlers' malls and stuff like that. And she's always asking me, said, Well, said, you know, you don't want to. Uh, let me pick you up some books if I find any. And I always tell her, like, well, if you can find anything like with a 25 or 30 cent cover price and earlier, uh, you know, just go ahead and pick it up and I'll give you the money or I'll give you some money beforehand or whatever. And, and sometimes, you know, and around in uh, Kentucky especially, it's kind of hard to find anything decent at one of these places. It's not like outrageous or just really ratty shape. Uh, but uh, she had, I, we were up there at my parents at Christmas, and uh, she said, well, said, uh, I think you might like this one, and opened it up. You know, my dad didn't know anything about it, but anyway, he uh, he's, he was really curious to what it was. So I opened it up, and uh, she had found a, a dealer that uh, was selling some uh, Silver Age stuff. And uh, so I started looking through it, and I was just amazed, you know, and I got kind of curious as to what she paid for them, because uh, I didn't want her spending a whole lot of money, you know. Uh, but she's always on the lookout for me, you know, so, uh, and I love her for that. Well, you know, I love her anyway. My, my folks are great. But uh, she found some great stuff, and it's all probably like uh, mid-grade. There's one maybe a lower grade, and there's some a couple closer to find, but uh, I was just amazed uh, at the little nice little haul she came out of there with. Uh, this was probably the roughest uh, one of them all, but... Uh, I love the art on this book, and uh, I love the uh, love the character. But here's a Silver Age Hawkman, number 21. Great Murphy Anderson art and cover. This is pretty beat up. Still a great book. Okay. Here we have Flash, 183. The Ross Andrew and Mike Esposito cover. And no doubt the art on the interior too. I haven't read it yet, but but I, something else that amazed me is uh, I think only one of these books I already had, so it was like you know, just like a double whammy on the good side. But uh, Flash One Eighty Three, uh, Our Army at War Two Hundred Two, great Joe Kubert cover, probably uh. Probably a VG Plus, maybe. Very good find. Nice looking copy. Tales to Astonish 84. Submariner and Hulk. Another great Silver Age title. Marvel Collector's Item Classics number 21. And all these wonderful little square bound books. Great Fantastic Four reprints and uh, Doctor Strange, I think, Iron Man. I guess these were kind of, uh, everyone knows what a fan I am of the DC Giants and the 100 Page Spectaculars, and these were, to me, were kind of like the equivalent, Marvel's equivalent to the 100 Pagers. Just great stuff. I got a couple more. Now, this is the one I already had, but this is actually an upgrade. And uh, this has been, always been one of my favorite covers. Uh, but Challengers of the Unknown 67 with the great Neil Adams cover this is one of those ones that I, after I started collecting back issues I saw in the ads of some other books and this was in there I was like I've got to have this book you know so this is probably my third copy <laughs> but this is probably the best uh, best one I've gotten that's probably a, a solid find so I'm really happy to have that just a great Neil Adams cover and last one, uh, I guess it's more of like early Bronze Age, but I guess you can put it in the Silver Age category. Uh, Thor 178, uh, which to me surely looks like a, a Bushima cover. I guess The Stranger and the Abomination. And uh, like I said, I, I got kind of curious what she paid for these because I didn't want her spending a whole lot of money. And... Uh, I said, can I ask you, you know, I said, well, he had to uh, on the, sit on the box or uh, wherever the display was. 
you know, he said, all prices are firm, you know. I said, well, how much did you give for those, you know, and I was thinking maybe five, ten bucks a piece or something, but uh, she just gave uh, like two seventy-five a piece for these, and I was just blown away. I mean, you know, those are bargains you really, uh, it's kind of hard to find in a comic shop or even at a convention sometimes, but uh, for, for mid-grade uh, Silver Age, you know, I think two seventy-five is a real bargain, uh, but I was just, I was just tickled to death, you know, and really uh, more so just because she thought of me and as a collector and was like well my little boy will love these books but uh like I say she's a she's a sweet little woman and a great mother and I love her with all my heart and my father and I feel really lucky to still have them and I'm gonna have to shut up because I'm gonna tear up but uh hope you guys enjoyed this uh I certainly enjoyed getting them and uh, appreciate you tuning in and I will see you next time over and upward.